All right, greetings from Jim AG Six IF. Uh, right, we got the uh, the case split apart. There's some, some tabs along here. Kind of work it up, work it apart. In the front and the back. Um, this is the Ford fuse panel. I'm replacing the fuse or the relay for the fuel pump that's soldered onto the board. So this really ticks me off. Anyway, uh, the, the board, you finally get to it, and the board sits in here like so. Um, you'll see it here in a second. And there's some, some of these clips you have to pull off these clips. They only go back on the wide lugs here. So the board will come out, just like so. And you're left with that, and then your two plastic pieces. All right. The bad relay is right in the middle. It's right in the middle. You can see it from the front. Uh, when you're when you're looking at the fuse panel, there's spaces so you can see where the smoke's coming out from. Uh, that goes on there, sort of like that. It's the one right in the middle. And as expected, I'm going to go to the loop mode here and see if I can uh, help you see this better. Maybe, maybe not. We'll try it. And see. You'll see that. There we go. See that relay right there? That's the one in the middle. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I gotta find it here. <laughs> okay, and two, it's this one. There we go. Third one in. You can see it's melted. The corner's melted. Oh, I'm not sure. That one's much better but uh, there you go it's all melted and the symptom is driving along the engine quits you panic no power steering of course no brakes hardly uh, you pull the side road and you try to start it and it starts up and you keep going so <laughs> isn't that great so uh, this is definitely a safety issue in my opinion uh, before I'm going to be uh, letting anyone drive this vehicle except for me, this has to be fixed. Now, Ford will fix it for about 700 bucks. They replaced this whole assembly. I wish they had some techs that could open this up and just replace the $9 part. F8 Victor, I uh, gave you the part number in the prior video. Uh, R303, they're 9 or 10 bucks. I bought a couple extras. This isn't the first time, this isn't the last time this one's going to get changed out since uh, it's probably a, I'm not sure what the rating is, they're pretty well hidden, Omron makes this, I, I'm guessing it's a 10 amp relay and it just overheats. Constantly, there's tons of internet complainers out there talking about this pro this problem, so if I can get a better angle on that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here, let's see if I can Sorry for the seasickness. But there you can see the corner of the plastic's all melted. Um, so that guy is in the mailbox tomorrow. It's a simple job to, to change it out. Desolder five of those legs. Any ham should be able to do that. Almost any ham. And put the new part in. And reassemble this board. Does that look like $500 to you? Thanks a lot, Ford. I still like Ford, though, but I'm just annoyed with their shoddy engineering sometimes, in my opinion. So They could have put these five relays where the rest of the relays, the socketed relays were. So the box would have to be a quarter of an inch bigger. Who cares? Um, so Thank you for watching. We're building a radio station here in a much bigger platform. Looking forward to it. This is going to be a four-wheel drive, and uh, I've got room for solar panels on top, and I made the most out of my Crown Victoria, so it's time for a change. Thanks for watching. 73AG6IF.